Welcome to the Tea of the Day. Today I did a little bit of a mix because it's apparently National Honey Day. Woo! National Honey Day. Fun, fun, fun. That's why I'm wearing the snazzy yellow jacket. You like it? Um, and what I did was a little bit of a blend. Um, I went with some Morgan's Brew Tea Company um, nettle and fennel, and then I also did some of their Moroccan mint and put them all together. Wow! I've actually been doing that uh, for a little while now, putting those two together because they taste great as a combo. And along with that, I did some honey. Ooh. Mmm. That's good. That's tasty. Um, thank you, hammering people across the street. I appreciate it. Yeah, that, that's, that's just a slow clap is what it is. That's not hammering. Slow clap. Anyways. Um... Yeah, I love these guys. Um, I love their tea so far. And uh, honey is the thing we're talking about right now, though. Honey is good for a wide variety of things. It can help lower your cholesterol and your triglycerides. It's good for coughs. It's good for um, so soothing the throat. It also has lots of antioxidants. It uh, promotes uh, wound healing. So it's actually good for your skin, for healing wounds and burns. Um, there's a whole laundry list of stuff that I'm looking at here, so it's, uh, it's also good for your heart. Um, there's some stuff that says it can be good for athletic performance, but most of the studies that have been done are actually done by the National Honey Board. So uh, we're, the jury's a little still out on that one, but they say it's, a, you know, compared to having regular sugars, it, it's obviously a better time-released one that's is better for your energy overall. So. One way or another, um, honey is better than having regular sugars. We know that. And as far as allergies are concerned, it's really good for that. Um, what you need for the allergies, though, is you have to have your local honey. Because what happens is the local honey gets the local spores and pollen in it. And that, for whatever reason, helps to fight the, any local um, allergies you might have. So uh, it's, it's, yeah, that's another great benefit that honey has. It's also good for various digestive problems. And uh, then we go down this laundry list that I have here of actual stuff. It's supposed to be good, good for diabetics where it's a better sugar for them. There still needs to be some more research done. And obviously as a diabetic, you're gonna still need to be very, very careful and watchful, but it's definitely better for you as a diabetic than regular sugar. And, um, but it's also the li list of things here. It's supposed to be good for your breath, for hiccups, for stomach ulcers, for stress and weakness, um, for sleep disturbances, for vomiting and bedwetting and frequent urination, and as well as obesity, jaundice, hangover relief, and arthritis. There have been a couple of studies done on arthritis and, and uh, osteoarthritis for honey that have shown that it does work with that specifically. So yes, that is one that has been more verified. Um, but honey's been used in a variety of ways for over 5,000 years as for its medicinal, medicinal benefits. Medicinal benefits. So uh, I can't say enough about honey. Obviously, it's a sugar, so you don't want to just start going, I'm gonna start pounding down the honey. You have to use it in moderation. You know, it's just the way it has to work. So, be, you know, have a little bit in your tea or a little bit, you know, in certain meals. But obviously you don't go overboard just like your regular sugars with it. But it's very, compared to regular sugar, which has very little benefits unless you're having it in its raw form, um, honey is the way to go. Yeah, honey! 